It was homecoming weekend as the Illini squared off against Purdue on Saturday. The Illini were hoping for their first back-to-back -back Big Ten win since 2016. The Illini got on the board first as this 52-yard pass play from A.J. Bush to Reggie Corbin. That play set up a five-yard touchdown run by Bush. But that's the only points the Illini scored for the rest of the game. Purdue dominated the Illini on both sides of the ball, tailing over 600 yards of total offense and holding the fifth-ranked Big Ten rushing offense to only 69 yards. Illinois had no answers for Purdue, as Clovey Smith said yesterday. Again, guys, we can talk about that Purdue game. The rest of the time up here, I don't have any answers for you. Uh, when you don't have a lot of answers for what happened, you go back to work, which we'll do. From the gridiron to the hardwood, the Illini basketball team is just two weeks away from tip-off. Second-year head coach Brad Underwood has been on the recruiting trail signing promising freshmen to learn his system. On Saturday, Illinois held an open practice for their loyal fans. The team has only two returning starters from last year in Trent Frazier and Kipper Nichols. The rest are freshmen or graduate transfers. But of the young players, two four-star recruits joined the Fighting Illini, leading Underwood to believe the youth will bolster the team. But uh, for the most part, this group is uh, unselfish. They're together and they, they play really hard. And I think at the end of the day, I think we're in a really good depth as well. The Illini opened their season on Friday, November 2nd, in a home exhibition game against Illinois Wesleyan. In Major League Baseball, the postseason rolls along. The Los Angeles Dodgers hosted the Milwaukee Brewers for Game 3 of the National League Championship Series last night. The Brewers jumped on young righty Walker Buehler early as Ryan Braun rips a double towards the left field corner as Christian Yelich hustles all the way from first, giving them a 1-0 lead. The bats didn't cool down as Orlando Arcia extended their lead with a two-run opposite field bomb to give the Brewers a 4-0 lead. But Brewers starter Julius Chassin stole the show as he struck out six over five in a third scoreless inning. But in the ninth, the Dodgers weren't dead yet as they had the bases loaded with two outs. But closer Jeremy Jeffries struck out Brian Dozier to strand the bases loaded and secure the win to take a 2-1 to one series lead. The Brewers will continue their pursuit for their first World Series berth since 1982 this evening. Well, that's it for your sports news. Now here's Nora Rogers with this week's entertainment report. Nora?